what we're going to be going over here are premium coupons or rebates and those would be offered with the sales of products to promote the product and we'll go through a basic example here where the cereal company places one coupon in each box of cereal they sell here and it's going to take five coupons here and you're going to be able to redeem those coupons here for a popular kids toy that is you'll get one toy free with five coupons here so you uh, you'd have to purchase five boxes of cereal to get these five coupons here. Now the company purchases 40,000 of these toys here and it's going to cost them a dollar fifty cents each for the toy here and, and that's what the company is going to pay for the toy here and it's going to sell 480,000 boxes of cereal here with these coupons in at three dollars and seventy five cents per box so and then they're going to estimate that forty percent of the coupons that are issued here in the, with the cereal here are going to actually be redeemed and for example here during 20x1 the first year here 115,000 of these coupons here were redeemed for toys okay so the first thing we have to do is we have to do our computation here on our coupons so the total coupons issued here in the first year 20x1 were 480,000 coupons here that was one coupon per box of cereal that was sold so the total estimated uh, number that are going to be redeemed here uh, that total amount here 480,000 coupons times 40 percent 40 percent of those so we're going to have a total estimated redeem here gives us 192,000 and then we know the coupons that redeemed here in 20x1 to be 115,000 so the difference 192 less 115,000 uh, gives us 77,000 coupons here those are the estimated future number of coupons that are going to be redeemed okay so now let's go over and look at our calculations here again the premium here is offered with the sale of the product here you're going to be able to get this popular kids toy if you buy um, you'd have to buy five boxes of cereal here. So first for our calculation for our toys purchased here this is what it cost the company. 40,000 toys they buy at a dollar fifty cents each so we have a total of sixty thousand dollars they're going to pay for these toys here for in the purchased year in 20x1. Now for the product sales here so they sold 480,000 boxes of cereal at three dollars and seventy five cents each for one million eight hundred thousand dollars. Again product sales here in 20x1. Now the number of coupons that are redeemed here uh, for the cost of the toys for the amount that are redeemed here. So first year 115,000 coupons. It takes five coupons here for one toy. Divide that into the 115,000. Multiply it times the cost per toy here a dollar fifty cents. So you get thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars. That's your uh, cost of the redeemed uh, toy here for 20x1. Now we're just going to say the re remaining here is going to be redeemed here. We're going to estimate it that the remaining goes into 20x2 the next year here. So remaining amount here is 77,000 coupons divided by five per toy times a dollar fifty cents per toy gives us twenty three thousand one hundred dollars worth of cost here that on those toys that are going to be redeemed estimated again in year next year here at 20x2. So now let's look at how we'd record this. So the key thing we're going to look at here is we're going to have to set up this premium liability account here for the uh, amount of uh, for the cost here for the uh, estimated cost here the future um, amount that has to are going to toys that are going to re, be redeemed here and then we're going to have to set up this premium expense account here and we'll look at both of those here those are what we want to focus on but the first thing we want to do is we have to record our cash here um, for the purchases of the cereal here so in our toys so first for um, what we receive for sale of the soy uh, uh, cereal here one million eight hundred thousand dollars debit cash on the balance sheet and then move over to our sales revenue here on cereal on our income statement we credit that for one million eight hundred thousand dollars now the uh, other thing we we want to look at here is the purchase of those toys let's say again these are in 20x1 we bought sixty thousand dollars worth of toys here credit our cash and then we um, set up an inventory account here for this toy or this premium inventory account debit that here for sixty thousand dollars again in 20x1 now what we have to do here uh, the first thing we want to talk about is this premium expense on our income statement for this toy again here this is what we want to look at here is we have to charge the cost of the premiums and, or the coupons here to the expense in the period of the sale we sold all our cereal here in this first year 20x1 uh, for and that included those coupons here one million eight hundred thousand dollars so uh, in we have this expense that 
on the, what was our expense here on those uh, redeemable coupons that are sitting in there. So we have to recognize that all in this first year, this the period of sales here to match our uh, costs here with our revenues here. So uh, the amount here that was redeemed in the first year at 20X1 was $34,500. Now we also have to uh, recognize the premium cost of this accrued estimate here that we have the re remaining coupons that have to be redeemed here at a cost of $23,100. Again here in 20X1. So we recognize all our premium expense here on this toy. Uh, debit that here on our income statement in this first year when we sold the cereal here. So those were coupons that were sitting in the box here. That was our cost here on those toys. So remember, charge a cost to the premiums or coupons to the expense in the period of the sale. So we match our cost here to our revenue. That's the key point here. Now, because we didn't redeem, or all these toys weren't redeemed here in the first year here, uh, we have to set up this premium liability account here on our balance sheet for that amount that we estimated up here. Remember that $23,100? So we credit our premium liability account here, $23,100 on our balance sheet. And again, set up as a liability account because we recognize a premium expense here, our expense account on our income statement for that um, amount here at $23,100. So we had a debit here on our income statement for $23,100. So that gives us our credit would go to our premium liability on our balance sheet here uh, for $23,100. Again, cost of those toys that have to be redeemed. Now comes along year 20X2 here. Now this is where you would take and we because they would be redeemed here in 20x2 those toys or that that cost of the toys here uh, and at least that's what we're estimating here we would uh, debit out our premium liability here for uh, $23,100 that is we'd get rid of our premium liability here on our balance sheet or reduce it here to zero and then we'd recognize it here as a reduction here in our premium inventory. That's the amount of toys, a cost of the toys that we're sale, selling here. Again, in 20X2 here, credit that here for $23,100. So we've taken this liability here. We have to set up this liability in the first year for the amount of, uh, for by $23,100 for the amount of, uh, in this case, the cost of the toys that were not redeemed here at during, in that first year or carried over into our second years here. And then as we, and the next year here when they're actually redeemed, the toys here, the coupons redeemed for those toys, then we would uh, reduce our uh, premium or our liability account here on our balance sheet and then we'd recognize uh, as our reduce our inventory account here. Credit our inventory account here and uh, reduce uh, reducing our inventory as uh, crediting here and then debiting here our premium liability. Okay. so. Those are the key things here when we're looking at these coupons here. Uh, you have to set up this premium liability account or on your balance sheet for any uh, amount here of the cost that wasn't redeemed in the period that you're looking at and you have to set that up and then charge it off against your inventory or you're costing it out here when it actually is redeemed. And then the other key item here, just remember this premium expense, you have to match it with the revenue. So if there was all that, all those coupons were sitting in those boxes of cereal that we sold here in the first year, then you have to even though they weren't all redeemed, you still have to recognize the expense because they're sitting out there. So that is the key here. Charge your cost of premiums or coupons to the expense in the period of the sale here. So costs are matched to the revenue. So those are the key points here. So that takes care of uh, just a basic example here with these premium coupons or rebates. And that's how you would handle it.